Following the bacterial cell transformation, your tubes were incubated on ice, heat shocked at 42 degrees, and LB broth was added. You should have two tubes at this point labeled P minus and P plus. In order to start the plating, you'll have three separate plates. You'll have an LB plate, an LB amp plate, and an LB amp ARA plate. To begin the plating, pick up P minus cells first. You're going to be dispensing 50 microliters of these cells onto two of the plates. Pick up a pipetter that's been set to 50 microliters. Put a tip firmly on the top. Close the lid. At this point, you want to be certain that you're using proper aseptic technique. Open up the tube of P minus cells. Press down the plunger on the pipette. And gently mix the cells up and down. Draw up. 50 microliters, open your first plate, and very gently to the side, add the cells, P minus, close the lid to avoid contamination. You can use the same tip to again draw up 50 microliters of the P minus cells and add them to the second plate. At this point, you can eject the tip and you're ready to spread the cells. Open up a packet that contains the bacterial cell spreaders. Use your fingertips to only touch the ends of these so as not to contaminate them. Do not place them down on the bench top. That would introduce contamination. Gently open the lids of the plates and very carefully spread the liquid that you have dispensed on the plates using a gentle back and forth motion Try not to gouge the auger, and remember, this isn't a shovel. Very gently spread the cells, being careful not to cross the border into P+. When you're finished, be certain to put the bacterial cell spreader into the bag. OK, now you're ready to go ahead and dispense the P plus cells. Again, pick up the pipetter. It's set at 50 microliters. Put a tip onto the end, pick up the P plus cells, gently depress the plunger with your thumb and mix the cells up and down in a gentle fluid motion. You'll dispense 50 microliters of P plus onto the first plate, 50 microliters of P plus onto the second plate. The third plate will only contain P plus and it will be 100 microliters. Eject the tip from the first pipetter. Pick up the second one, which is set to 100, or use the same pipetter and redial the amount. Put a fresh tip onto the end. Pick up the remaining P plus cells, being sure to gently mix them up and down so that they're dispersed for plating. Again, open the plate, minimizing air exposure, and disperse the cells. And eject the tip. Now you're ready to spread these cells. Again, carefully open the packet, which contains the spreaders. Remove a fresh one, avoiding contact with your hands and the bench. And go along the plates and spread the P plus that you've just plated. Again, use a gentle motion back and forth, going over the surface of the plate, and trying not to gouge it. This last plate, the entire surface is P plus, and you don't want all of the solution to go to the sides. You want it evenly dispensed. Put the lid back on quickly. Dispose of your spreader. Let the plates sit on your bench top for at least five minutes so that the liquid can be absorbed. Invert the plates and stack them.